from Hollywood, it's the Tom Mikey Show. Here you go, boy. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. And um, look at this story. you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. I just see this stuff and I'm just blown away when I see it. You're kidding, right? Jesus. I'm sitting here looking at this going, there's people out there who actually think this is a good idea. Are you kidding me? You kidding me? Pissing me off. Here's the story. Dateline Tokyo. This is from Reuters. Lovelorn staff at a Japanese marketing company can take paid time off after a bad breakup with a partner. With more of what they call heartache leave available as they get older. Says here the Tokyo-based Hime and Company, which also gives staff paid time to hit the shops during sales season, says heartache leave allows staff to cry themselves out and return to work refreshed. CEO Miki Hiradate says, Not everyone needs to take maternity leave, but with heartbreak, everyone needs time off, just like when you get sick. The company of six women markets cosmetics and other goods targeted for women. To hear staff ages 24 and younger can take one day off per year. While those between 25 and 29 can take two days off. And those who are older can take three days off, the company said. Hiradate said, women in their 20s can find their next love quickly. But it's tougher for women in their 30s, and their breakups tend to be more serious. Tess here, He-Man Company staff can also take two mornings off twice a year as sales, shopping leave, so they can race to stores to hunt for bargains. This is what you get when a company's run by women. Heartache leave, time off to go to the sales at the at the mall, Yeah. You know the chicks are running this place. Hinarate said before women could take half days off to go to sales, but you'd have to hide your shopping bags in lockers by the train station. But with paid leave, we don't have to feel guilty about bringing our shopping bags to work, and we can enjoy the best part about sales shopping, talking about our purchases afterwards. Why are you at the office talking about your purchases, ladies? How about you get some goddamn work done? Why don't men take women seriously at the office it's a it's a worldwide thing. Why would any man respect women who want to do things like that? Take time off to shop during sales, and then the opportunity to come back to the office and tell the other girls what you bought on sale. 
It's no wonder uh, guys like me have so little respect for most women. Ooh, we. But heartache leave? Are you kidding me? I still can't get over the fact that people want time off because they've had babies. Forget about the time they need to be in the hospital and, and, and squeeze little suckers out. The fact that people want, you know, six months off to sit home and bomb with their kid and stuff. You know what? If you need that kind of time off, you shouldn't be coming to work. You should just stay home and squirt out babies. Do that. And heartache leave? Are you kidding me? Buck up. Are you, you know, if I had heartache leave at this job, do you know how many days off I would have had over the years? Are you kidding me? I'd be like Johnny Carson was, for God's sake. I'd have more time off than anybody. You know, I believe that all this stuff about mental health days and heartache leave is just a load of bull. It shows how weak we're becoming. Buck up. Come to work. Get your job done. You know what I found over the years? When bad things happen in my personal life, I like coming to work. I like seeing some of my friends. I like seeing uh, what's going on at the office. Working can help me to forget whatever problems I have at home. This idea that I need to take off time every time I break up with somebody or I need to take off time uh, because uh, I've got some other issues at home. Well, I just need to take a mental health day. Screw you. How many of you women out there have taken so-called mental health days? That's why you don't get promoted, ladies. That's why we can't take you seriously. Buck up, heartache leave. Does anybody, anybody listening think this is a good idea? Heartache leave? Time off if you break up with somebody? You break up a relationship, you get divorced. Do you really need time off for that? Does this really make any sense? I've got to know. Tom Luckis. 1-800-5800-TOM. What was that again? Were you not listening to me, sir? I couldn't hear a word you were saying. Well, I couldn't hear a word that you were saying either. I see. That's great. I like the level of discourse here. It's fantastic. It's the Tom Luckis Show. Steve on the Tom Luckis Show. Hello. Tom, how are you? And I do care. Doing great. Glad to hear it. Listen, I got a quick one for you. I was wondering if you had a list of any of the companies who are offering this heartbreak leave so I know who not to buy stock in. I want my companies running lean, cutting benefits, not adding ridiculous ones. How does how can that possibly positively affect the bottom line? Well, first of all, the, there's only one company we know of, and it's in Japan. Uh, that's offering this, but you know as well as I do, once this story is is widespread, lots and lots of people are going to start saying, hey, that's a good idea, and they'll try to start instituting that. I agree with you. Any company that's got break rooms where you can breastfeed your children or free child care on site or, uh, yes, heartbreak leave or any of that stuff, these are companies I would not invest in. I've got many, many investments in the stock market, and these are specifically companies I would not invest my money in, would not. We are in agreement. Can you take me out Kobe style? Yes, I can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Tony on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Uh-huh. Yeah? Right? Hello? Yeah? What's going on, man? Hanging out. You're hanging out? Yep. Why is that? Got nothing better to do over here. You have nothing better to do over there? Yeah. Who am I speaking with? Who do you want to talk to? Tom. Oh, you wanted to talk to Tom. Ugh. 
Ugh. It's the Tom Likas Show. I one 800 800 tom Tony, the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom. Yeah. Is this Tom? Would you want to talk to Tom? Yes, I do. Hold on, please. The Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Tony, the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show? Yes. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Great. Tom, I can relate to what you're talking about today. Is that so? Yes, sir, indeed. I've been going through a freaking divorce, and I stopped working, and I continue to work. And I just realized I've just been wasting my my time. Yeah, and why take time off? What's the point of that? Yeah. You need more money, not less. You need more respect from your job, not less. Why would you be a pussy? Sorry. sorry. I, We're I on the just, air. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I was just... Going through some stuff, man. Sounds like you're still going through some stuff. You know what? I kind of managed. I met someone. And I'm just trying to hold on and, and then just be strong. I got kids with her still. And and I'm confused. That's why I'm calling you. What are you confused about? I don't know. I mean, we're starting to, to talk again. And she, I guess we're, she wants me back. And I'm like, I'm confused. What are you confused about? About the relationship, whether I should go back or not. Why did she leave? Uh, she said I was had a drinking problem. Do you? Well, I drink occasionally, you know, every weekend or so I have a beer. No, you don't. You don't have a beer. <laughs> uh, you have a case of beer. Yes. Well, yeah, I, you know, I, I have a couple here and there and... No, you don't have a couple here and there. You drink a lot. Well, yeah, maybe I do. Right. So why are you in denial about it? Uh, I guess I mean, didn't think it was that big of a problem. Up well, it's not a problem for me. I just, you don't have to lie to me. Lie to your wife. Don't lie to me. Right. Why would you have to lie to me about that? Yeah, I'm not lying to you. I'm just... Well, yeah, you are lying to me. Maybe I am in denial, you know what I mean? Maybe I do drink. Well, yes, you do. People don't leave you for that reason. If that reason doesn't exist, they don't make that up. Yeah. Well, what do you think? What is your advice, Tom? What do I think about what? What do I think about getting back with her? Well, she's going to make rules. Are you ready to live by her rules? Because that's what you're going to have to do. Yeah, it's 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 uh, it's nice being single, but at the same time, it's you know you're used to being around your kids. I've been with her for fifteen years already. She is going to make the rules. All right. Are you prepared to live with someone who's going to tell you what to do? I guess. You see, that's, I guess I, I'm i going to have to. If you want to go back, she's going to tell you what to do. Uh, I don't know about that. She's going to tell you to stop drinking. If she hasn't already. And yeah, she has, yeah. hasn't she? Yes, she has. There we go. Are you willing to do what she tells you to do? I guess I'm going to have to be ready for it. No, no. Are you willing and able and anxious to do what she tells you to do? Well, I'm not anxious, but I'm going to have to do it. <laughs> well, look, if that's how you feel, maybe you shouldn't go back. Really? If that's how you feel. Yeah, it's, it's pretty confusing. 
You know, you get your moments where you want your family, and there's, you get your moments where you just kind of enjoy just just being you, you know? Well, yeah, you have to pick one. Yep. Which one is it going to be? <laughs> well, Tom, I think I'm... I'm going to give it another chance. So you're going to do what she tells you to do? Well, yeah, because, I mean, I have kids with her already, you know? You can have kids with her and not live with her, not be in love with her, not be in a relationship with her. Many people do it. Really? <laughs> Look around. You know the divorce rate's been about 50% for the last 25, 30 years? Yeah. Yeah? You're right. What do you think those people are doing? Going out and partying. Right. I've been doing some of that too, but it, you know, we've only been separated for four months and, um, we still do things together once in a great while. We get our booty calls. Right. Does she show you pictures of the guy she's been having sex with while she's been gone? <laughs> no, she hasn't. But you know, she has. Yeah. Well, can you live with that? I I don't know. I don't think so. Hmm? I'm telling you, just like you, nobody sits there for four months on their thumbs. Well, yeah. Well, we still we still connect on a regular basis, like maybe three times out of the week and the weekends. And yeah, and what do you think she does the other nights? Yeah, she's got stuff. Or answer with the kids as well, Tom. So well, maybe. No, yeah. I mean, may you want to believe that. I understand. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I can live with that. I mean, you know what? I just. It's a. Uh... pretty difficult to it's difficult in the way that you know as much as I like my family as much as I love them it's just like and I miss them but you know I don't think I can go back to that well then don't yeah you're right hang on a second Tony John what did you want to say to Tony hey I wanted to say um, tell him to man up he's got to uh, go to AA and address the problem it doesn't matter if he goes back or not. He's got to uh, take care of himself first so he can take care of his kids. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, you're right. And I was thinking about that, too. Yeah, and, you know, it's it's free, and you can do it, and it's hard, and it sucks, and it's not fun. But, uh, you know, I mean, you you got to know. I mean, if she says you got a problem. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, but you know if you do. Yeah. And even if you don't go back with her, you got to address it because, you know, it's just a slippery slope. You're going to keep going down. You know, freedom, freedom when you're addicted to something isn't much freedom anyhow. Yeah, you're right. Because I've been, ever since we separated, I've been pounding some here and there and it's like maybe I go to... Hey, watch your mouth. We're on the air. Sorry, Tom. Yeah, it's, it's not much fun. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to enroll. I'm going to enroll them. And, and I'm talking to someone, too, right now, and I don't know. I just Maybe just to keep my mind off of things, I, it's another booty car right there, and it's just like... Well, do, do what you got to do, but, you know, if you want to uh, climb out of this big abyss and make your life any better, you know, you got to you got to do uh, – and it, 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 take her out of the equation. That's what I say. I mean, who cares what other people think? It's all about you. I mean, if it's not working for yourself, then, then, then find somebody, find some group, find some whatever support that's going to uh, get you back into a life that you want to live. 
and then you can start thinking about your kids. And then if you want to get back to her, that's that's fine, whatever. But you know, then you get back on her, your terms, you know. You're not listening to her. You're not taking uh, direction from her. You're taking direction from yourself because you've gotten yourself back together. That's a good point right there. You can do it, man. People do it all over the place. It stinks. It's hard. It's, it's yucky. It's, it sucks. It's not fun. It's, it's probably going to take a little bit of time. But, I mean, what's the alternative? Just things just keep getting worse and worse and worse. I mean, it's, it's up to you to declare when the bottom is. It could be now or tomorrow or you can uh, lose your job or you can do something else and then at some point you'll call it the bottom. Yeah. No, I still, no, you're right. I'm going to, I'm going to join those classes and, uh, and work on myself before I make that decision. Yeah, and don't do it by yourself. Nobody can do it by himself. We're human beings. We need other people. So, uh, I mean, if you could have done it already by yourself, you would have. So find something, go on the Internet, you know, look at the yellow pages if they still got those things in hard copy. And uh, you can do it. It's going to be hard, but you can do it. Find some group and find somebody, and you can go to a meeting every freaking day of the week if you have to. So, uh so just uh, cut out the excuses and, and start making your life better. Hi, Tony. John, thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. We're talking about it all started with a, a Japanese marketing company uh, that is offering employees what they're calling heartache leave. Yes, if you break up with somebody, you can take time off to recover. Emily on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Mr. Likas. Yes. Oh, well, I'm not even sure if I want to talk. I mean, that was some huge issues that were just worked out. That's right. Wow. Uh, well, you know, I wanted to give you a call because I was, you know, hearing this about women's, well, not just women's, I guess, but that's mainly direct towards women, uh, the mental health days. And, you know, it's that women are too, you know, overly sensitive. So if she's going to be there at work upset and crying and all this, it's not going to do anyone any good anyway. So why not just make her stay home so that you don't have to deal well, with Well, my solution is to make women stay home permanently. I would want no women working around me. <laughs> then you don't have to deal with these issues. <laughs> I hear you on that. I hear you. But, uh, you know, but I mean, that's, that's just what I... You know, I mean, so I'm not saying that that's an okay idea. But I'm just saying I can un kind of understand uh, why. But again, that's why women don't belong in the office. Well, that's... Uh, you know, business doesn't shut down because you need a mental health day. Things, life goes on. Hey, don't say you, because I, that's not a problem to me. Well, good. I'm just saying, you Why know, do you understand it? I don't know why you understand it. I don't understand it. Well, I, I don't think it's, you know, a viable, you know, thing to do at work, but I'm just saying that it's, I don't know, semi-understandable. It's a good reason not to hire women, huh? I, I would guess so. That, and if they have children, that's another, get out of here. Bing, that. bang, boom, Emily, thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello to Derek on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom, how you doing, man? Hey, Okay. Cool. Hey, I wanted to throw in a little comment about this, uh, you know, taking off for relationship breakups and all that sort of thing. I think, you know, I'm like you, Tom. I think that, you know, if you if you have responsibilities at work, no matter what's going on, you attend to those as best you can. But if you happen to be the type of person who is going to take advantage of every angle you can get and be lazy and take these, you know, I just broke up, I'm so sad, breaks, then be smart about it. And wait till you're feeling great about yourself. Make some story up and say, yeah, I'm, I just broke up and I feel so sad. And take a vacation and enjoy the time and use it wisely. Don't take it off when you're depressed. I mean, if anything, do that. I think that makes a lot more sense. What I really think is that it's time for people to just grow up and buck up. <laughs> Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. Do you teach the guys no foreplay? Well, put it this way. 
I tell the guys, your main concern is getting what you came for. Oh my goodness, Tom, this is horrible. This is not romantic. It's the Tom Likens Show. From Hollywood, the Tom Likens Show, 1-800-5-800-TOM. Heartache leave. Time off because you broke out with somebody. you got to be kidding me. 1-800-5-800-TOM is our telephone number. John on the Tom Likens Show, hello. Hey, Tom, what's happening? Not much. Hey, I'd just like to make a uh, quick amendment to uh, this rule. Let's call it the uh, I'm throwing the bitch out and changing my locks day. <laughs> just call it that, and then... Uh, then I'd, uh, I'd be okay with it. There you, so it, the only time you should ever take time off, and I, by the way, I've had that happen to me, is, yes, if she locks you out and you need to move. Right. You know, right. I once got right. a call I once got a call at the office at lunchtime, and she told me she put all my things out in the hallway and she had changed the locks. Well, I did need to leave early that day. Yes, I did. But you know what? I I t- took the minimum amount of time. I got right back to work. Very good. Yeah, if uh, it's either that or if you live together, you need to kick her out. There you go. Well, I've been telling I've been telling guys that for years. Are you kidding me? One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Jacob on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing, man? It's great to talk to you. Doing great. Hey, listen, um, I, my comment on this whole relief from work and stuff is that I don't, I don't believe it's a good idea, exceptions to the rule, but I, I really think that's because, you know, when you're down and out, you're hurt and you broke up with somebody, the best thing to do is to stay busy. You got to suck it up. You got to be there. You got to be productive and you got to forget about the past because you're moving on. That's, that's what, that's about. what I think. Yeah, I mean, it's worse to sit at home, you know, making pyramids of beer cans and drinking all day long. You know, I've I've been there, too, you know, but uh, I I couldn't make any sense of it just to have time off unless it's something like you guys were saying, you know, you got to get the stuff out of the household or whatever. But keep busy. Keep working. Keep it out of your head. I agree with that. Anyway, that's how I feel. Um, uh, Everybody out there listening, wear condoms. (laughs) <laughs> and uh, I, I'm, learning, I'm learning from you every day, and I'm listening to you every day. And thank you so much. Thank you, Jacob. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Daryl on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. I just wanted to say that uh, feminists should be out in the streets protesting anything they have to do to stop this from coming to the states. Why because- would feminists want to protest this? What was that? Why would feminists want to protest this? But because it hurts their uh, movement to be considered equal to men. I mean, you know women are the first ones who will take advantage of this if it ever comes about. Uh, I know, but the whole feminist movement, I mean, this would just move them in the opposite direction. And I support the feminists. Are you a feminist? Yes, I am. Really? Yeah, they're 100% equal to men. I don't pay for nothing. Yeah. I don't want to offend them in any way. That's right. I, I agree with you. I'm America's original feminist. Hey, I, believe in complete, I believe in complete equality. So, ladies, when you turn 18, head right down to the post office and register with your selective service. That's right. Tom, can you take me out with a Kobe Gracias Biatch? Let me see what I have here for you, Daryl. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. Gracias. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom Jeanette on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, how are you doing, Tom? Doing great. That's awesome. I just wanted to say that I love your show because you're really honest. Like you say everything up front, and you, I don't know, it just. It just makes me, like, realize, you know, what mistakes I'm making and, you know, and try to improve them and improve myself. Yeah, I say buck up. You know, <laughs> things happen in everybody's lives. You know what? Show up to work. Uh-huh. We'll be taking days off like that. 
You want to know why? You want to know why women go don't get taken seriously at work? Things why? like this. Things like what? I'm sorry. Like like this. What we're talking about here. The idea that you get time off for heartache leave. Mm hmm. Sounds like you're a little distance from the conversation here. Try a radio. You might want to tune in sometime. Find out what we're talking about here. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, how you doing? Doing great. Good to hear, man. Good to hear. It's a pleasure. It is indeed. Uh, is this a new Raw Day Pass? This For you. I just got on the radio. No, no, no. I, I think we uh, we uh, run the risk of that happening because of a story going around about a company in Japan. Oh, wow. That's offering this. That's outrageous, man. They must be out their minds. Leaving jobs, leaving your work to because your heart ached or something? That's crazy. As in this country right now with a recession coming? Are you kidding me? You yeah, better show up at work I mean, every day. Buck up. Yeah, I mean, what kind of a pussy do you have to be, you know, to not go make some money, you know? If you're right. Over someone. That's right. That's crazy, man. Well, good talking to you. Can you take me out uh, Snoop Dogg style at a uh, bong rip? Yeah, I certainly can. Bitch. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. David, on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Good to talk to you. Sure, it is. I already know you're doing great, so I'm not even going to ask. I am. I have to agree, though. Uh, I think it's ridiculous to actually take time off for heartache. The best way to get over a heartache is to stay busy, get with your friends, keep your mind off of it. Why? Why would somebody want to stay home? And dwell on the fact that they just lost a partner. Get out of here. Yeah, staying home is the last thing they should do. No, that's exactly right. They should be going to work. In fact, they should put in overtime just so that they can uh, get their mind off of it. You're right about that. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. It's good to talk to you. I'm. Uh, I actually found you um, just. Going through the radio station, I'm uh, new here in SoCal. I've only been here for since June. And uh, you have got by far the best after-work radio program I've ever heard. Thank you. Keep it up, man. You're awesome. Appreciate the call, David. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Brian on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, big fan. Thank you. Uh, hey, just calling <clears throat> basically an event because I've been having to put up with this. I turn on the radio, and you're talking about the exact thing I've uh, put up with for the past month. I got this coworker, Steve. Um, basically, his wife of uh, 22 years cheats on him from, from a guy out of state who her sister uh, aided her uh, and abetted her basically in a, to help her cheat with this guy that she was the cover person to go visit out of state while she did this, and meanwhile, she's a Bible banger, and oh, woe's me, I, I'm a big Christian, and, and hides behind all that, and meanwhile, is cheating on her husband. This guy's been at work, coming to work every day, day in, day out for the past month, basically sitting with his head in his hands, will, doesn't do anything, puts all the work on us to pick up the slack, and basically it's okay for everybody around to feel sorry for him. Oh, poor Steve. Oh, did you hear about Steve? And everybody's okay with this guy. Basically, just like you're saying, heartache and gets to get away with everybody else picking up the slack. And I think it's just crap. Yeah, I really, I, I don't think people's personal lives belong in the office. Yeah, they just yeah. don't belong. I don't care what your personal problems are. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and us as a society that sit back and put put up with this nonsense. And for the people like uh, like us and the, the go-getters and the people that are willing to pick it up and do this extra work, it's it's time for us as a side of society to stand up and just say, no, we're not going to pick up the slack for these people. And when these people go through this or go through their little uh, little things that, at home that affect them at work, which, which is no excuse because, I mean, I have a lot of things that I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, and I don't bring it to work. So that's just all I want to say, Tom, and I just say, man, big fan, uh, great place to vent, man. I feel good. Thank you, Brian. Appreciate the call, 1-800-5800-TOM. Andrew on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, Tom, what's up? Not much. 
Hey, I was just wondering about this, uh, the rule with the taking the time off. Is that just regarding relationships? Or what about... Yes. Well, that, this particular story is about a company in Japan that's offering time off if you broke up with someone. Oh, okay, because I was wondering if it also applied to, like, when maybe a mother lost her child or a father lost her child, because that seems like kind of something that would be legit enough to take a little bit of time off for. But in terms of breaking up with someone, that's just ridiculous. Like, no time off is necessary for that. That's how I feel. So you don't know if it applies to that, though? I just told you what it is. So it isn't so far. It's one company in Japan. Well, okay. I was not, not a law. It's not the United States. It's not on the Western Hemisphere. No, I know it's only in Japan, but I wonder if it applied to something like that, too. It's one it company offering heartache leave for people who broke up with their girlfriend or boyfriend or husband or wife. No, people do need to buck up like that last caller said and just to stay busy and just move on from the past. But, Tom, thanks a lot. I appreciate the show. Learning a lot from you every day. So keep doing what you're doing, man. Thank you so much for that. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Mario on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Dad. How hey. you doing? Doing great. You know, I want to comment on the whole heartache leave crap. That's a crock of crap. I'm a single dad. I work five days a week, sometimes six if I get overtime. And it's at night. So during the day, I have to watch my daughter until I can get you know, the babysitter to come and watch my daughter. But... Me, I go to work when I'm sick. I go to work all the time. None of this, you know, oh, I broke up with my girlfriend or I kicked her out. No, none of that crap. I go to work all the time. This is just a pussification of Japan and eventually America that catches on over here. That's what I believe it is. Well, when, once these stories go around, you're going to have people saying, hey, that's a good idea. Good idea? No, that's, that's the worst thing on earth. That's, uh, I don't know. Okay, i got to watch my language. I'm sorry. i got to stop myself. Yes. Oh, but still, it's just horrible. Really, it is. What next? Honestly, what, if if this takes place, what do you think would happen next? Uh, let's see. A day off for uh, uh, whatever ethnic or racial group doesn't already have a day off, we get a day off for them. Great. That, that's just that's the, <laughs> that's the last thing we need. You know what, Dad? Can you just take me out old school, please? Of course, I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. It's Tony on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, how are you? Doing great. You know, I was calling because I don't want these people coming to work. I don't want to have to hear their dirty laundry. Keep them at home until you know. Give them a week off or something because so many times they come in and you just hear these lame stories and it's much. As you try to agree with them, try to make them feel better, it just keeps going on. And if they're not talking about it, then then they... I say them. anybody who cries at work, fire them. I, wa I don't want them around. <laughs> That's why they should stay home. These people Permanently. Are... I don't think you should take a day off. I don't think you should ever come in at all. <laughs> you shouldn't hire people like that. If you have, you should fire them tomorrow. <laughs> The is, uh, the By the way, you could le you could legally fire them because you wouldn't be firing them because of race, gender, religion, handicap. Somebody cries at work, kick them the hell out. Yeah, well, I guess it depends on the kind of job they're doing. If they're not there in brick and stuff, then yeah, they can do it by doing more. But you know, if it's a marketing company where you have to think your creativity just goes out the window, and these people are just on the way, just killing your productivity. So. Stay home, do whatever you got to do, but, you know, don't come back. And I don't want to have to hear anything about relationships at home. I, it's enough. I have my own issues. I need to focus on my job. I don't have to be worrying about somebody. Oh, poor guy, he went drinking last night. He won't shut up about, you know, his relationships at home. Yep, I know what you mean. And I thank you for the call. The Tom Likas Show.